everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing this Royal Blue Brocade Overbust Corset made by True Corset and this is in their Playgirl white label. So here is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. The center front of this corset is about 15 inches and from the peak of the bust down to the bottom of the corset, the longest area is 16 inches here. Um, so it does have a sweetheart but it's very, uh, very mild sort of sweetheart. And in the back here, it is also 16 inches. So it has a rather high back because the bottom here, it actually swoops up. So this is sitting at right, right at my tailbone and the back of the corset actually goes above um, the bottom part of my wing bones here. This is a bit of a long wind corset because my iliac crest is right there so it has about another inch or an inch and a half between uh, the iliac crest and the long wind corset. Um, but it's not so long line that you won't be able to sit down in it. In terms of the silhouette, I would definitely consider this a modern slim silhouette. It's a, an extremely gentle hourglass on me. Um, in terms of the circumferential measurements, this is a size 24 corset, and you can see that I don't have it closed all the way in the back because of uh, it, it's not able to fit in the bust properly. So um, right now my bust measures probably about 36 inches, but uh, the bust of the corset is only about 32 inches. So there's about an eight inch difference between the bust and the waist. So this would probably be more appropriate for people up to about maybe a large B cup, uh, a small C cup would probably be pushing it. Um, however, though, hip spring in this corset is pretty generous. It has about a 10 or 11 inch hip spring. So the waist of this corset is 24 inches. The hips at the iliac here is about 35 inches. So I would probably recommend this style of corset for somebody who is sort of straight up and down if they're a ruler shape or if they have maybe a tiny bit of a pear shape where they're smaller up top and a little bit uh, wider on the bottom. Um, that said, if you have a vintage figure where your natural hip spring is about 10 inches or more, then you might want to consider a different style of corset. So here is the corset laying flat, and for the materials in here, it has two main layers, I believe. The fashion layer is this royal blue brocade. The motif on the brocade is a sort of Eastern inspired motif. And then on the inside here, it has a, a bit of a twill lining, but it, it seems a little bit more coarse than twill, so I'm thinking it's bull denim. And you can see that on the inside here, there are internal boning channels, but I'll get to that when we go on to the construction. Here you can see the label. So it's Playgirl white label, size 24. Um, the brocade is 100% polyester. The lining is cotton. It's still boned as I checked with my magnet. And uh, this particular corset is also made in China, just like the black taffeta corset that I had reviewed a couple of weeks ago. So once again, I'm not sure which of their corsets or which of their um, products are made within the UK, uh, but these particular corsets are made in China. So turning this corset on its side, for the pattern of this corset, it has six main panels. One, two, three, four, five, six, and for the actual assembly, it was top stitched between the panels, so it has at least double stitching on here. And then on the inside here, you can see that there are internal boning channels laid down. The internal boning channels are made, I believe, from Peter Sham ribbon, um, and they're just a single boned on the seams. You can also see the waist tape running on the interior of this corset. It's one inch wide black Peter Sham tape, and it doesn't go through the entire um, width of the corset here. So it starts at the second panel, and it goes on to the, the fifth panel, basically. So uh, panels one and six are unsupported by the waist tape, but these three or the four middle panels are still supported. Here's a close-up of the binding. It's made from matching bias strips of the same royal blue brocade, and it is machine stitched on the outside and also the inside. And it also comes with six garter tabs, three on each side. There is a modesty panel in the back of this corset. It is five inches wide and it is unstiffened. It's made from, I believe, two layers, the uh, matching blue brocade fashion layer and the bold denim on the inside here. It's secured on the side with a line of stitching right there and you can remove it if you really hate modesty panels. There is also a small unstiffened modesty placket on under the knob side of the busk here, just made from the black bold denim here. 
The busk itself is 14 inches long and it has six pins, all equidistantly spaced. It is about half inch wide on either side, so it's considered a sort of standard flexible busk. However, it's a little bit more sturdy than some other busks that I've dealt with in the past. This corset has a total of 14 steel bones, so seven on each side. It's single boned on the seams here, so you can see one, two, three, four, five, and these feel like they would be spiral steel boned. Also uh, on the back here sandwiching the grommets is a flat steel bone on either side. Here's a close-up of the grommets. There are a total of 28 two-part size, I believe, double zero grommets in this corset with a pretty small flange around them. Um, in a few places, the brocade around the grommets, especially at the waistline here, is fraying ever so slightly. Um, however, the grommets themselves are not pulling out at this point, so I'm just going to watch them and see. And here's a close-up of the inside of the grommets. You can see that most of them have rolled really nicely. Uh, there are very few splits in here, and those that do have splits don't actually catch on to the laces themselves. Um, they're very shiny, they haven't tarnished or anything, and even at the waistline you can see that um, they are not pulling out of the bull denim yet, so this is why I'm just going to be watching it and see if maybe the fraying is just a property of the brocade. Um, I know that I have dealt with brocades that tend to fray very easily and it can be very frustrating. Um, however, as long as the uh, strength fabric holds fast, then hopefully it won't pull out or loosen up or anything. This overbust corset is available on the True Corset website for £55 in the UK or $80 in the US. This corset is also available on Amazon, I found, for just a couple of dollars less. Um, however, it's in limited sizes, so you'd have to go check and see if it would be available in your size. And now for the bus test. it gets about a three out of four on the bus test when I was jumping and when I was raising my shoulders I felt pretty safe this corset um, is not designed to have like a cup that goes over the bust area it actually has more of a squished bust effect and because of the pressure of basically like binding the bust basically it it actually keeps you in pretty securely in that respect. However, when I was raising my arms, I did feel things shifting a little bit, so I probably don't feel the, the most safe raising my arms in a public situation. Um, I would probably wear a nice uh, thin shirt underneath here if I was wearing this to a concert or something. And another thing that I noticed in this overbust corset that actually happens in quite a few of my previous overbust corsets that I had reviewed, um, but I don't think I had n mentioned it in the past, is that the the bust line here is rather shallow, but it doesn't go back down on the side here. It just kind of goes up and then straight across to the back. And um, because of this, I have a little bit of squish happening in my under un, uh, my underarm area, and I'm unable to fully lower my shoulders for this reason. So I am not keeping my shoulders down and back, and uh, it shortens the look of my neck. I have a short neck to begin with. Um, the only reason that I had noticed it so dramatically in this course, it was because of the course that I had reviewed last week where if you had noticed it was a sweetheart that came up and then back down again on the side and then it went straight back but at a lower angle so I had probably about four three or four inches more space on the sides here so I was able to keep my shoulders down and back now it's not a slight on this particular corset because I've noticed it in a lot of my sweetheart overbest corsets that I had reviewed in the past um, but it is just another observation so if you have a, a naturally long torso if you're sort of one of those long and lanky types and you have a bust that sits naturally a little bit lower on your rib cage but you still have a fairly high um, or a fairly long distance between your waist and your armpit then this would be a good fit for you. However my bust naturally sits quite high on my chest and I also have this side pudge right here and my neck is not that long to begin with so I can't exactly be a swan in this corset. However it's still good for special occasions. So thank you for joining me for the review of this Royal Blue Brocade Overbust Corset made by True Corset. If you are still watching, then please remember to click that like button and help support the channel. And if you have any questions or comments about this particular corset or about True Corset in general, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will see you after the weekend for the next video. Bye!